when you put to bed in Obodo Ivo, you and your husband is going to turn to a full-time Omogwa. Your husband will be the one to do the Imam Minuoko, the hot water bait for you. Because this is the broad. So you have to do all the things by yourself. people welcome back again to my Hello. channel you're welcome this is jen francis austin and this is jen francis austin tv i am a nigerian mother living here in dakar senegal with my family to my returning subscribers you're welcome for the growth i appreciate thank you for your steady support if today is your first time of coming across my video this today is your first time of seeing this woman of seeing this beautiful woman you're welcome please Consider to subscribe and join the family. I bet you you will not regret it. You're welcome. Today is a story time. Yay! Today is a sit down video. And you can see I am all dressed up for this very interesting video. This video is going to be more of a story time, but with a very interesting topic. Yeah, I used to write all my points down so that I will be able to remember them. When I look at the at my book here, I have it, my paper. When I look at it, I remember everything. Childbearing, delivering, and generally, Omugo in a, in the abroad, Omugo in the abroad, Omugo in Obodo Ibo. That is what we are going to talk about now. And today happens to be World Women's Day. Mothers, wherever you are, you are special. I say internal rest granted unto my own mother and my mother-in-law. May their souls rest in peace. All the mothers that are gone, and may their gentle soul rest in the bosom of the Lord. Amen. Today's video is Omugwa in Obodo Yibo. Yes. But after pregnancy, after every higi haga, after everything that goes with pregnancy, hormonal, after everything that goes with pregnancy, hormonal changes, cravings, and all that. Now you put to bed we after pregnancy. You now deliver your child. That is when this very, very interesting topic we are going to be discussing today will come in. Or Mugwa will not start proper. <laughs> My people, <laughs> I am talking out of experience. Because when I gave birth, the period I gave birth, my mother was late. And that was that was the period that the whole world was going through a little was going through that crisis we all know then there was no movement there was no movement then the whole world was in pandemic there was no movement you can't even travel and my own mother was late and my elder sister that can be able to come and fit in for my mother there was no means of traveling my people <laughs> i saw hell but in all i give god the glory so when you put to bed in Obodo Ibo, you and your husband is going to turn to a full-time Omogwa. You and your husband, you and your spouse is going to do everything that relates or concerns to Omogwa all by yourself. Because in the abroad, is not maybe, in the abroad is a hustling field. Yes, abroad is a hustling field. Everybody is busy doing one thing or the other. People that have nice shifts, money, depending on your area, depending on where you live. So, some might even have time to come and visit you when you put to bed, maybe on their off, when they have chance. As you can see, it's not unlike, it's not going to be like when you are living in your own country. A lot of people will come around to jubilate with you, to congratulate you. Some of my friends and family will stay together. You will not even feel it. This is abroad, and everybody is minding his or her business. Yes. So when you now put to bed, few people, few family and friends that have the chance to come will now come, and when they come, they will go. And you know, after delivering, there's something they used to come call Imam Miriok, like hot water beds. Hot water bed. If you are lucky enough, there will be somebody that will come and do it for you. If you are not lucky enough, if there's no none, it's abroad. Your husband has to fit into that particular job. Your husband has to do it for you. Your husband will be the one to do the Imam Miruoko, the hot water bait for you. Yes, because this is the broad. 
So you have to do all the things by yourself with your husband. With your husband, you all will do it all alone. So after that, <laughs> difficulties that you will encounter. So after the Ima mirror and all that, that stage will go. You know another stage of uh, maybe washing clothes. If you happen that you don't have a washing machine, that you do your laundry by yourself, it's going to be the duty of you and your husband. This place called abroad, no darling. This one is now maybe family and friends or your mother, your siblings, your relative will come and be doing the washing for you. You and your husband, if you have grown up kids, you all will be doing the bowl or mungo. Generally, you'll be doing it. It's going to be a collective work. So it's not easy. Giving birth in abroad is not easy. Mothers that are in abroad that are watching this video, you all know that I'm not lying, that I'm saying the truth. And I'm also sharing this with my own experience. Yes. So, after that, betting of the newborn, yes. Maybe if, if you are a first time mom, if you have someone that can be able to come and do it for you, you are lucky for that. If you don't have, you and your husband will do it too. If they start, if, if they begin the story, you and your husband will be the one to be doing it. And they begin the story. That is it. That is abroad for you. Then, foreign errands. Foreign errands, you know, when you give birth in your own country, your family and friends are around, maybe going to the market, running errands, one or two things, doing things. This time, nobody is doing it for you. Everything is solely based on you and your husband, on you and your spouse. You'll be doing everything by yourself because this is abroad. Nobody have your time. Even if family and friends are coming, they will just come and stay a few minutes, they will go. Everybody is working. And in my own case, there was no means of making journey that period. Airports were all locked. So no no means of movement. And my mom was late. Even if there was movement, my mom was late. And my own sister that I was supposed to come and do it for me. There was no means of movement for her to travel and for her to come over. So I and my husband was doing all those things. We were doing all those things by ourselves. Then difficulties in taking care of the newborn. This is not where you are in your country and you have someone that is helping you with your mogul. Maybe when the child is crying at night, you need to have your rest. Maybe someone will take care of the child. Here in the abroad if the child is crying anytime the baby needs your attention you wake up and give that child that basic uh, that attention that he or she needs it's not their fault so but if it's happened that you were in your own country you will have someone around you that can be able to maybe help you each time your baby is crying or needs your attention in all those odd times for you to have your, your rest but say you gave birth to a new child another one is taking care of the newborn with other siblings like maybe if you have given birth to one or two or if you have given birth before you have older children taking care of them if you have other children like you have, you have maybe other children before that very one before the newborn if you have other children before the newborn you will take care of the, the newborn take care of the the older ones yes less maybe they are of age like they can be able to cater for themselves in some areas but if they are still toddlers ah, it's not easy it's not easy my own experience was not that all that sweet like my own experience i learned so much i learned a lot i bless god because it makes me who i am today i, I became strong because before i came to this country i am that kind of uh, i'm that kind of a uh, lady that were so pampered yes so when I came in abroad, like after childbearing, doing all those things all alone with my husband, I now have the guts. Yes. I now knew that, yes, I am now in motherhood proper. This is motherhood. A motherhood I come. So I don't know if you are also living in the abroad and you have experienced this, please share with me on the comment section. It's not easy. I applaud every woman in the whole world that gave birth and in a different country where your family and friends are not even if you have your family and friends there is going to be few i applaud all of you i pray that god will keep us strengthening each and every one of us 
and I pray you that is a mother out there God will see us through in this journey of motherhood if you are a TTC mother watching this video we are still hoping on the Lord for your own I pray that God will grant you yours this is a point of contact you will also experience this just this joy of motherhood if you watch up until now thank you so much for watching this is me sharing my own omogo experience here in the abroad i also want to use this opportunity to thank all the whole husbands here in the abroad that were also able to go on this journey with their own wives you all are wonderful you are amazing without you all we can't do this thank you for standing for us you are the real husband thank you all you a husband that is also watching this that you are living in the abroad and you also went through all this with your own wives i say thank you all. thank you thank you so much today is world women day i dedicate this very video to all the women in the whole world you are wonderful you are special you are amazing I pray that our good Lord will crown all our efforts in this journey of motherhood with success. We will reap the fruits of our good labor in the name of Jesus. Thank you for watching and I will see you on my next video. Please, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Bye.